Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science Study Guide on Earth Science. Remember, you have a study guide and answer key for each video. Print the study guide out, watch the video, fill it out if you can, then you can check your answers, and then you have an easy way to study for tests and quizzes. So let's get started with the video. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at the layers of the Earth based on chemical composition and physical properties. The Earth can be divided into three layers based on chemical composition, the crust, the mantle, and the core. The outermost layer of the Earth is called the crust. There are two types of crust, continental and oceanic. The crust averages around 25 miles or 40 kilometers in thickness and can be divided into 15 major tectonic plates that are rigid in the center and have geological activity at the boundaries, such as earthquakes and volcanoes. The Earth's crust contains all three rock types, including igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Oceanic crust lies under the ocean and is thin and is approximately four miles or seven kilometers in thickness, and it's composed of dense rocks, including basalt. Continental crust is thicker and ranges from 6 to 47 miles or 10 to 75 kilometers in thickness and it has a high abundance of less dense igneous rock like granite. The mantle is located between the crust and the core. It's a region of hot slow moving solid rock. The mantle is 1,800 miles thick or 2,900 kilometers and it's composed of silicate minerals and they're similar to the ones found in the crust except with more magnesium and iron and less silicon and aluminum. The core extends from below the mantle to the center of the earth. Scientists believe the core is made mostly of iron and nickel. The core is the densest layer and makes up about one third of the earth's mass. The outer core is composed mostly of iron and nickel with metals found in liquid form. The outer core reaches temperatures of 7,200 to 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's estimated to be about 1,400 miles thick, or 2,300 kilometers. The inner core is the hottest part of our planet and has temperatures between 9,000 and 13,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a solid layer, and it's around 755 miles, or 1,200 kilometers thick, and it's composed mostly of iron. This iron is under so much pressure that it stays as a solid. The Earth can also be divided into layers based on physical properties, such as whether the layer is solid or liquid. The five physical layers are the lithosphere, asthenosphere, mesosphere, outer core, and inner core. The outermost rigid layer of the Earth is the lithosphere. The lithosphere is around 100 kilometers thick, and it's divided into tectonic plates. The Earth's lithosphere includes the crust in the upper part of the mantle, and it is hard and rigid outer layer of the Earth. The asthenosphere lies underneath, and it's made of solid rock that moves very slowly. It's described as viscoelastic, which means it can flow and also can be elastic. The asthenosphere is located below the lithosphere, and the tectonic plates move on top of the asthenosphere. The strong lower part of the mantle is called the mesosphere. Rock in the mesosphere flows more slowly than rock in the asthenosphere. The outer core is the liquid layer of the Earth's core, and the inner core is the solid part. The inner core extends from the bottom of the outer core to the center of the Earth. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.